Yeah, try get the blueberry. I'm telling you, find the blueberry muffin. It's amazing. And the apple pie. And the apple pie. Don't forget the apple pie. Those are the ones I know you can find in America. All right, we're good to go. All right, part uh, part three. Let's do trial part two, day one trial. Yeah, I'm trying to save your life, dude. I'm trying to save you. What's up, Plop? Hypothesis over hairbrain. <laughs> this guy, this guy is is not very bright. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to hear the English VA again for him because he sounded like Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. I know it's not Rob uh, Rob Paulson who is the voice actor for Pinky in um, Warner Brothers Pinky and the Brain. But he just like had that same kind of tonal inflections. And it's really funny to me. So I've been calling him Pinky. What is this guy talking about? Anyway, welcome to the stream, Plop. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Friday. We're gonna get through this last trial section and then we're gonna finish the case tomorrow. There's no such this I'm having so many flashbacks to the time travel case. Right, where I like we had to prove that time travel isn't real, and they did the, the 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 wedding twice, and now I'm like, now I'm sitting here and I have to prove to this guy that like, teleportation isn't real. It's not. You can't. It doesn't work. There is another way that the murder happened. Um, right now I have a couple. So there's been a lot of um. Back, like, the beginning uh, investigation phase was a lot of this, like, not even investigating the murder. It was a lot of the setting up the back pieces of the Baron, uh, Baron von Sykes, his older brother that died. There is a kidnapped wax s uh, statue. So, like, right now, one thing is clear. The assistant to van zykes is clearly in my opinion don't prove don't say yes or no it's my hypothesis though that the assistant is sherlock holmes i'm sorry herlock sholmes i'm always gonna do that that i have a feeling the statue is involved that the wax figure is somehow involved maybe it was the fake that was like put into the um <clears throat> into the quote unquote teleporter that exploded and somehow the real body was hung up and then dropped. Or the wax figure is what they found. And this is like the big brain. The wax figure is really the dead body. The dude faked his own death. He's paying off the, for the forensic team because Scotland Yard couldn't even investigate. It was only the forensic team. And I, I was in the forensics team. We have no, there's no like... They could be bribed for all I know. Maybe Strongheart is at the is at the middle of all of this uh, bullshit. I have no idea. But like, 
If I wanted to go big brain conspiracy theory, I would be like fake death, uh, wax figure being stolen has to do with that. Uh, but other than that, like, I don't really know quite yet where we're going. And I don't think I'm gonna have any clues even by the end of this trial. I think the next investigation is gonna be, like, the big part where we find out a lot of junk. But the one thing I do feel like I'm very confident in is that Sholmes is the assistant. And I say that because... He doesn't talk. The assistant doesn't talk. The assistant wears a mask. I feel like if the assistant talked, we would know who it is. Um, Van Zykes didn't hire the assistant. It was given to him by Strongheart. So not even Van Zykes knows who he is. The smile looked familiar. Like the mouth. What that mouth do. And when we were told to go see Sher uh, go see Herlock at the Wax Museum, I decided to go back to the prosecution office, and the assistant wasn't there. So I'm convinced very much that Sholmes is currently uh, um, Sholmes is currently the ass the assistant to Van Zykes. I don't know why. I don't know if he's undercover. I don't know if it has something to relate to the, the collar from the end of the case 2, the bloody collar, to why Suzato was uh, brought back to Japan. There is so many moving gears right now. And I know that this case like kicks off, like kicks off the whole end game of case 4 and 5 as well, being like all tied together with this case. And I can definitely see where all of the threads are currently being laid. Like, all the groundwork is being laid for all this stuff. And it's super interesting. This, I can understand. If this pays off really, really well, I can understand why people say that this is their favorite Ace Attorney. I can totally see it. Because it reminds me a lot of what I would consider my favorite Ace Attorney, which is currently Investigations 2. That game does a lot of the same things but in the investigations model instead of actually courtroom. And if you haven't played Investigations 2, play it. It is phenomenal. Oh my god, is it good. I am such a fan of Investigations 1 and 2, but definitely 2. I think 2 is, a, is like improvement on 1 in every way. And it's, it's my favorite Ace Attorney game. I, I'm going to make a bold statement. Maybe, maybe this is a hot take. I don't know. If they make, there's going to be more reasons to love it after this case. Nice. I will say if, if they actually wind up making an Ace Attorney 7, I want more cases that are investigation style cases, like a case uh, Great Ace Attorney 1-2 or like the investigation games 2-4 and 2-5 definitely sold it hard nice I'm looking forward to that we have to get through this case first and this case is a chunky boy at like I think my estimate was 12 to 13 hours I was told by some of my sources and the only invest the only pre-work I do for these yeah the Edward spin-off investigations those games are freaking phenomenal. I absolutely love them. I've said it before. I think Kay Faraday is my favorite uh, assistant. In this, in Great Ace Attorney 1, it's okay. I enjoyed it. I can understand that because you're not like, it's, a, it's such a weird case because it is that love the court segments way too much yeah that's like one of the things like investigations did a really good job the, 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 the spin-off games did a really good job of capturing the court segments in their own way while not being in court if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but like they did a really good job of, of doing like testimony and things like that while not being in court Yeah, I definitely feel like it's out of place in a in Great Ace Attorney 1. You forgot everything about it? I can I would agree on the first game. 
I forget a lot of the first game. Um, a lot of the small details. The big moments I do kind of remember, but I remember all of Investigations 2. I love that game. Yeah, the confrontations. Logic Chess was amazing. Uh, being able to walk around. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed being able to physically move the character and investigate. Point and click has its, has its uses. But I really liked being able to move the character around. And I would like to see that come back in Ace Attorney 7. I'd like to be able to move whoever the main character will be. If it's Athena, Apollo, Phoenix, a new character, I don't care. I mean, I care, but whoever they are, I would like to move physically around. Still have your point and click things and things you need it to be. But I would like the return of like, free movement in the environment. I feel like that's the next step they need to take with Ace Attorney. Because they definitely don't like to sit and do the same thing over and over again, right? Like, they're always trying to push the envelope in different mechanics, different mini-games, different uh, ways to tell a story. And I think the next step is, like, full-on 3D environment. I, I, I don't know if we'll get it. I don't know if Capcom's willing to put the budget in for that. Right, I don't know if they're willing to do it. But I really would, I really think that would be like the next step in moving Ace Attorney forward if they make a seven. Is give us 3D environments where we can move around in for the investigation phases. Hey, Gina's here. Also, I don't know who the hell these kids are. There are three of them, goddamn. Balthazar Luna, or Loon? Oh, he's the hot air balloon guy, okay. My name is Wilhelm Gottfleisch Sigismund Unstein. Bo oh, balloon. I'm. D My brain never puts those together. Wilhelm Gottfleisch Sigismund Unstein. My name is. T yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this kind is wunderbar. I have come to the great exhibition of the way from my home in Bohemia. You're German, I get it. Oh, it's from the original Sherlock. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm very rich. Oh, great. Eat the rich. I... I love that Gina is, is calling herself Inspector, dude. God, protect that smile. I love her. Protect that smile. My heart. Oh, oh but yeah, I was gonna say, since, uh, since you're new here, Plop, I, um, I've been doing this thing called Weekend Lawyer where I play through all of the Ace Attorney games um, on stream every weekend. And this is the final game. Like, I'm caught up now. This is my last game. I will say that I did not stream Ace Attorneys 1, 2, or 3 or Great Ace Attorney 1. And the reasoning behind that is, is that I had played them already before I started dreaming again. Like, like coming back to consistently streaming two years ago. I had already played the fan translation of Great Ace Attorney 1 when it came out. And I had played the um, trilogy of um, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, and Justice for All. I'm sorry, Justice for All is 2, Trials and Tribulations is 3. I played the trilogy when that came out a couple years ago. Uh, we just finished Spirit of Justice and Dual Destinies. Those are the last two I just played. Um, but I streamed all of Investigations 1 to... Uh, Phoenix, uh, Apollo Justice, Dual Destiny, Spirit of Justice, and now Great Ace Attorney 2. Yep, yeah, did Apollo. I still argue that Apollo 1, like Apollo Case 1, is the best intro case in the franchise. Don't worry. On my Twitch page and my collections, I have all of the buds highlighted and separated by sections. So, like, case one, section one, like the tr like investigation and 
trials. I have them all split so that you can eat and you can digest them in easily digestible bits. And if you don't want to watch them on Twitch, I have them on my YouTube as well. Uh, I should probably, do I not have my, maybe I don't have my YouTube on my, uh, what do you call it, on my uh, page, but I can't get to the YouTube link. But I have a playlist called uh, Weekend Lawyer on there that has all of my playthrough that I'm still like uploading to. It's not all quite there yet, but it will be. My YouTube is... Copy link. This link. That's not what I wanted. That might go to the Twitter. There we go, that's what I wanted. That is my YouTube. Uh, currently being uploaded to my YouTube is... Uh, case 2 of Dual Destinies Section 2.3 just went live today. And I upload, when I upload them, I upload them daily, Mondays through Fridays, or also Saturdays. So you can catch all of the Weekend Lawyer series on YouTube at your viewing pleasure. And that's enough of me shilling my YouTube. <laughs> but I have been really liking this series. I don't know what it holds in the future after we're done. I really hope they announce an Ace Attorney 7. Um, there's a few things on my list that I might use to slide into the quote-unquote weekend lawyer that are maybe not so much lawyer games. Um, Aviary Attorney is a lawyer game that I'm thinking maybe. There's the Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law game that maybe we try out. Uh, there's also some investigation games, kind of like uh, Return of the Obra Dinn. There's the case of the Golden Idol that just came out, which is like a lot of the Obra Dinn fans I know really like that right now. They're playing that. Um, there's a couple other logic games we might play. So, I've heard mixed things on Aviary Attorney. I heard a lot of the problems were fixed in the Switch version that they released. That fixed a lot of the issues that the game had when it launched. So, Aviary Attorney is a possibility to check out. Yeah, I looked it up, and a lot of people said that, like, the PC version, when it launched, originally had a lot of bugs and stuff. <laughs> but over the time, it seems they've patched it, and the Switch version they released was pretty much all the patches, and it, it's fine. So, it's definitely on my on my radar for Weekend Lawyer, because it is technically Lawyer, right? It doesn't, it's a Lawyer game. I do like me a Lawyer game. But there's other puzzle. So my my buddy Brad, um, good friend of the stream, Brad and things. He's come up with a genre term for this style of game, this visual novel puzzle game. You could call it. He calls it a puzzle progressive visual novel, a PPVN. Um, and I think that's kind of like the style of visual novel and puzzle games I like. Is like that kind of style. So Ghost Trick might be on there. That's another game done by Shu. Uh, Shu Takumi, who wrote these games, or wrote some of, some of the games. I don't know if he wrote all of them. Yeah, I like the term, too. I actually like the term. I hate his other terms. Brad is a good friend, but he uh, hates the term Metroidvania. He hates the term uh, roguelike. So he comes up with these other terms for them that I think are dumb. They're just too long and wordy. But Puzzle Progressive Visual Novel makes, it, it, it makes a lot of sense of what that is. That's pretty, pretty well self-descriptive. Um, I have not played Ghost Trick myself. I've watched others play it, but I've never actually played it. And it's been a long time since the last time I've watched somebody play it. So I know the twists and turns of the story, but I don't know the puzzle solutions. And I feel like that's something that would be interesting for me to check out. So it's a potential. 
Oh. Was the body in the balloon basket? Yeah, the only game where I really feel like I can't play because I never played it myself but did watch people play it is Danganronpa. Right? I never played Danganronpa, but I've watched, like... I watched somebody play it, and I know all of the twists and turns, and that makes me, like, not interested in playing it. I will say, with that being said, there is a new game from the creators of Danganronpa coming out. What's it? Rain Code? That could be a good weekend lawyer thing to do. <coughs> I made the mistake. I, w I, I hadn't been streaming, right? So, like, I didn't know if I was ever going to play it myself, if it was a style of game I wanted to play. And now I don't. Like, I my friends played, uh, like, I, the Somnium Files. I refused to watch until I had played it for myself. I am excited for Raincoat 2. I'm hoping, I'm going to wait to see what the structure of Raincoat is like. If it's like Danganronpa, where the cases are kind of like Ace Attorney, where they're <clears throat> you can do each case like as one case, it's like one episode, it would fit really well into Weekend Lawyer. We'll rename Weekend something else, of course, but it would be, you know, we would name it something else. But yeah, that kind of game would be perfect for like a Saturday stream. Do one case a week. The blast was so hot, but I didn't want to miss a thing, so I kept my eyes wide open, yeah? Hans and Franz, I want to pump you up. Please, sir, I'm going to take another balloon. I still have lots of money. I studied German for seven years, so... I'm gonna keep doing a shitty German accent. <laughs> Wow, they called her an infant. Bohemian Raps ra uh oh god. Bohemian Rhapsody? Is that the song? That's the song, right? Bohemian Rhapsody? I think it is. I wonder if this is a joke. Yeah, I'm here in London on a sightseeing trip to my elementary school. When I remove my mask, this is what I look like. I love a shitty German accent. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like any other games coming out that are like that. I feel like we're in a spot like I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative already came out and we played that. Um there's not a lot of like puzzle progressive visual novels on their on the way that I know of. Hold it! I was just gonna press everything. Ten pounds for one ride? Good lord. This guy's rolling in the dough. Twenty pounds a month is pocket money? Good lord, they really are rich. Of course. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this, dude. There's the static. All right, let me reset the card real quick. There we go. When you hear that static, the capture card has a chance of crashing. Not crashing, but it'll start looping the audio. It's a problem with... I, I never had this problem with the CO27. I have Avermedia, both internal cards. And this is a C this is a Live Gamer 4K internal card from Avermedia, so I'm wondering, I don't know why it does it. It does it with both my Switch and my PS5. 
So it's not like it's the system. And they're two different HDMI cables, so it's not like it's the HDMI cable. I'm guessing just after time in OBS, it starts to like... And it, it's only after like a, some time it does it. Hold it! But I know the telltale signs now is when I hear that static, that's when to re react, like deactivate and reactivate. It's still a good capture card. It's a, actually a great cap card, but it just has some weird little hiccups here and there. Okay, yeah, mine. You uh, you heard it earlier in um, in the last section when I if you see me deactivate and reactivate, keep an ear out because you'll hear the audio start to loop. The video is fine. Like nothing ever happens in the video. It's only the audio. I wonder if my audio. It might be maybe my audio drivers are out of date. I don't know. Yeah, during the dance of deduction that happened. Wilhelm Gottfried Sigismund Ornstein. <laughs> I love this. I'm loving this right now. A green balloon flying in the sky. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh god, child's throwing a temper tantrum. Oh god. Oh, this is why you hate children. Okay. Ugh. It is not that the sky that exploded is a green balloon and goes next door. Is Hold it! <laughs> I don't know if I can handle I don't have the patience to handle a temper tantrum. I really don't. Cool, just a kid just generally just just casually uh, you know saying I'll have war. I just noticed he has a hot air balloon flame in his hat. How is that not burning his scalp? Hold it! 
That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm thinking, right? So it's like, wouldn't it be in the balloon? It looked like the balloon popped. I don't have the photo as evidence, but I saw the thing with that. You mentioned a green balloon. Did I ever look at these? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so let's look at this. Don't <laughs> oh, say nothing I can touch. Oh, here we go. Is this a crossbow? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. So somebody shot a crossbow bolt into a balloon? cloth and the fact that I'm thinking somebody shot a balloon means that this fucker's lying. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. We always save. Reminder that the health system in these games is really dumb because people don't ever use They literally just save and reload all the time and it literally means that the health system has no point. Objection! Okay, yeah, so it's a piece of the balloon. So somebody shot it with a crossbow. But who would have shot it with a crossbow? It had to be somebody on the ground? That'd be a good shot too. I wonder if we can find the crossbow bolt. What if this screwdriver was used as a crossbow bolt? Could that be possible? Don't answer that. That is me thinking out loud. That is me thinking out loud. Do not answer. Here we go. So, Van Zykes is going to argue that the teleportation happened, but it took place where the balloon was, causing it to explode. We know that's bullshit. Because of a crossbow. wasn't one of his balloons. Maybe it was somebody else's.
That's where that's why my brain is right now. Crossbow bolt hits balloon. Maybe balloon wasn't one of his balloons. Maybe it was somebody else's set up for this specific murder. Oh! Maybe it, that... Oh, so the green balloon. It's not one of his balloons, yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, you still take the money. <laughs> My goodness. Alright. This seems like it might be kind of clear cut, but let's see. It's only it seems like there's only three statements. So let's press them all. No, there's more, okay. certain it's that last statement about the red and blue stripes. Because the kid clearly said the green balloon. Like, he said it. Hold it! So there was a fourth balloon there that wasn't one of his, and it didn't have anybody on it, probably except for the body. Rainbow made. It just is. Yes. Hydrogen, yeah. No smoking. This is a non smoking hot air balloon. It's so good, right, all? And it's so good. back to that face that 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 Naruhoto made because it's really funny. I just want to look at the face not how it makes again. Just you tell me. <laughs> I don't know why. This face, this fucking face, 
is it you know what this face is? It's Naruhoto if he was Fred from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Man just saw God. This is Fred from the Scooby-Doo, like the old 1960s Scooby-Doo show, like, or the 70s. <laughs> I don't know why, but this face is fucking hilarious to me. He just looks like an idiot. I love it. It's great. Okay. Hold it! Did I do this one? The main soul okay, So it's gonna be on this one. It's that last day right there. Kid was gonna speak up because he said that it was a balloon. he saw a green balloon. What is evidence? Oh, here we go. Of course you would have a camera, you're fucking rich. in the court record so I can look at that please it's also black and white so you can't tell what color it is but you all I mean could you tell if it had stripes or not I guess maybe red and he said red and blue stripes right You'd be able to differentiate the fact that there are two stripes there. Same vibes as 6 1? A little bit, yeah. Right, is it in the court record now? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. There's the crossbow bolt. There's the bolt, right there. That's the crossbow bolt. Is looking at a black and white photo. Oh my god, that threw me for a loop, too. If I recall, I think that threw me for a little bit of a loop. But right here, this is the crossbow bolt that hits the balloon. So the body has to be either in, I guess, in here. The body has to be in here. But here's, like, here's the cage, and here's the professor, uh, what's his name, the, the, hairbrain. Hmm.
Wow. Language, Mr. Loon. Watch your fucking language. Yeah. <laughs> Can I put this photo on then? Oh, 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 oh. There is nobody in the... Okay, I think... I think I got it. There is nobody in the balloon in the photo, so... Try this first. Objection! Okay, yep. Yeah, my logic is very sound right now. Yep. There we go. I know nothing. I see nothing. Yeah, I know it's not one of yours. We weren't. Objection! Oh, I, I now I see the color scheme he's talking about. Okay, that's fine, but why is there nobody in the balloon? I mean, I know why, but not. No, there's no profits to be made. There's not a single. These people are idiots. It was Objection. carrying a passenger. No! None of them are interested. Not a single one of them is paying attention. It's the bolt. What that mouth do? Objection. I couldn't help myself, I'm sorry. Cause the explosion. If I had not looked at the crossbow, I might not be sitting here going, what it, I would not, I might not know what, what, what the logic was. Objection! Yep. Hmm. Take that! Dude, can you imagine how much of this case right now hinges upon a single photograph that was taken at just the perfect time? The miraculous evidence right here. It is like no short of miracle. Yeah, frame perfect input. <laughs> Bolt a fire like it, yes, correct, like an arrow. Was it a bolt on fire? Objection. Objection.
Take that! Crossbow. So an, an arrow dipped in oil and set alight. I did not see it being a fired arrow, like an arrow on fire. Okay. You know, I could really go for having some fingerprints right now. Where, where is, where is uh, Sherlock? Where's Sherlock Holmes? The sound. Yep. What is the first thing you think of when you hear a crossbow? My, the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear crossbow is the classic scene from Game of Thrones. If you know, you know. But ever since that scene, my brain will always think of a crossbow being related to Game of Thrones. Objection! Yep, that's what I'm thinking. But where did it go? Man, almost feels like we're breaking down a magic trick. I'm getting big, like, Apollo Justice vibes right now. <laughs> Anybody- am I supposed to be getting Apollo Justice vibes? Very similar to, like, Case 2 of Apollo Justice, of the magic trick. Objection! So, I'm trying to wonder, where did the original birdcage go? Or not the birdcage, but the original cage for the teleporter thing. Did Spirit of Justice have a magic trick as well? Right, there was a magic trick in that one. Well, both, both, um, I'm thinking more of Luminaire's trick in um, case two of Apollo Justice, but yes, Spirit of Justice also has a magic trick that we, that we also figure out. I'm just realizing there was a lot of magic between uh, the three games. With the guitar being on fire and stuff like that. I really like... I, I enjoyed some of Case 2 of Apollo Justice. For me, most of the, th most of the stuff in that case was kind of weak, but I did like breaking down the magic trick. Also, this guy's a fucking magician, so... How about a wax statue? Objection! So where do we get into this? Like, when do I get to present the wax statue? I use a scientist. Very interesting. Oh, 
God, if the professor comes in, I swear to God. God damn it. No, no. Bro, you are killing me right now. Uh, I want to stab this guy myself right now. <laughs> I want to stab him so badly myself. I'm about to go on trial for murder. I'm gonna st I'm gonna stab Hairbrain so badly. screwdriver right now for real for real poke uh, uh and he's gonna throw it again that. I'm in a rock and a hard place, aren't I? Sorry, bud. Truth matters. I have always been told in Ace Attorney that sometimes we have to do things we don't like to do and sometimes we need to prove. We need to get to the truth. The truth, the truth is more important. Ah, oh, that was a trick question. Neither answer would have been right. Yes. 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 I'm popping off. Let's go. She's back from Japan. Ready to fucking fight. Let's go. How did she get here? This was the surprise that uh that uh that Iris said. We get dropped. It's the best drop in the game. Take down. Protect my client's life. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I fucking love this right now, dude. Hi! Oh my god, yes. Also, I had the same reasoning. Oh, 
here we go. This is the testimony that's very important. You should have told us before, but I, yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry. A monocle. The engineer. Oh, the third person. We never found out his name. He's the culprit. Enoch Dreber. Wait, why do they know him? Oh, is he a con man? Con man. Uh, is is Enoch Drebber a uh, a pun that I'm missing? It's an engineer and a magician. No pun. Okay, cool. I'm like, am I missing a pun? I don't know. <laughs> It's a Sherlock Holmes original, okay. Oh, I love the jury system. That is that is probably my second favorite mechanic after the the, the dance of deduction. Dance of deduction is my favorite mechanic. It's the most fun, it's the most engaging. I love the jury system, though. I really like being able to, like, essentially pit the two of the jurors to get against each other. I think that's a lot of fun. Anything is better, like, for me. Like, in terms of mechanics, of, like, game mechanics, and, like, the way I rank them, I think Logic Chess overall is my number one. I really like Logic Chess. Um, I think that I put the Dance of Deduction 2, the Jury System 3, then Mood Matrix 4. They do go pretty far from the case, but it's funny. Uh, Mood Matrix is 4. Um, the, um, uh, what's it called? Perception? Yeah, Perception, Apollo's thing. It's five, and then finally I put Cyclox six. I hate Cyclox. I do not care for Cyclox. They, they're, we'll admit, Cyclox are better in the later games, but in the original trilogy, I hate Cyclox. <laughs> and I think part of the reason I hate Cyclox in the original trilogy is that they're tied to health bar. And when they're not, when they're used in four, five, and six, Unless they're in the court section, they're not actually tied to health bar. He got played for a fool. Yes. <coughs> All right, we have to investigate it next time.
He got played by somebody named Ass Man. He got made the butt of a joke. You could say, uh, in the science world, he's pulling up the rear. Hold on, hold on, I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Hold on. Try to think of another good one. Alright, 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 alright. All right. You could say his uh, experiment was rump roast. Yeah! <laughs> I gotta do that one. I gotta, I gotta do that one. You could say this. Say he was being a little cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing the sunglasses. Uh, I wish it wasn't DMCA, because I would totally just start playing, um, what's the song? Baba O'Reilly by The Who? Or not Baba O'Reilly, I'm a Who Are You? It's career ended. It adds like, another good one. <laughs> oh, hey, all the butt jokes. Whew. Oh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, we already did the screwdriver. Uh, that was like in, yeah, that was like, that was way before. Cause we presented it and then we said that like, oh, it couldn't be in the body. And it, cause he's like, oh, we metal things don't transport. And we're like, yeah, this is bullshit. Cause the glasses are metal and they're on the face of the victim who got quote unquote teleported. So we did present the screwdriver already. I for a second I thought I was thinking that the the screwdriver was the bolt that was fired from the um from the crossbow, but I don't I don't know yet. Now that apparently it's a flaming arrow, which I didn't know. I didn't think about that one. Yeah, I met Andrew <laughs> and his brother Michael. We didn't meet Michael. Michael was just mentioned. There's Andrew the Flathead and Michael the Crosshead. This man literally names his tools. He's a mad scientist. This guy's wild. I did not receive your postcard. Oh, God damn it, Iris. <laughs> no, no, Suzato drops, Suzato takedowns, always, always a welcome. They're always welcome. So how did she convince her, don't answer, don't answer hypothetical, not hypothetical, rhetorical, rhetorical question. How did she convince her dad to let her come back to England? Ah, here we go, they might, might talk about it. Ah, oh, goddammit, next time I guess. You know, I could go for a cup of tea. I think I might have a cup of tea before bed. It'll be my third cup of tea today, but I think I'll have another cuppa. All right. All right. So we are done the first day investigation and the first day trial part one and part two, which leaves us with the next set of investigation. 
like I said, the only thing I do for these the, these games is I research how long the estimate is and how many sections are in it. So I know that there's one more investigation and two more trial days or parts of day two. So technically speaking, we're halfway through the trial. Not really, but I have a big feeling the next investigation is going to be like three hours long. Don't answer if it is. <laughs>